What's up homies, it's your boy today, back again with another LMMS video. And as you can see, it looks like I have dark mode on or something because this is the new LMMS. So basically, I know a lot of you guys were telling me to uh, download the new LMMS, the like RC7 or version 1.2 or whatever it's called. Um, so that is what I did. And here I am with that. Uh, I haven't even messed around with it at all yet. I just opened it up and I was like, I need to make a video for everybody. So that's what I did. So in this video also I want to address some of the questions that you guys have been having in the comments. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, before we get started I want to say I've seen some of you guys asking about like buying some of the beats that I make. Um, and most of the beats that I make for tutorials usually aren't for sale, but I have a beat website um, that you can buy beats from and I'll put the link to that in the description below so you guys can check that out if you're interested in buying some beats. So yeah, let's get started. What I want to do with this, I want to make it maybe like 165. 165 is good. And now I'm going to find where my drum kits are. So I have found all my drums and stuff. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the beat and bass line editor and I'm going to drag that here, close out the song editor. Um, and I'm just going to start dragging in drum sounds. Uh, and for this one, I think I want to keep the beat kind of like fairly simple. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Alright, so these are the drum sounds that I have right now. Pretty standard kind of drum sounds. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in a plug-in like I did for my last video. So I'm going to bring in this plug-in here, which is a free plug-in. This has a nice bell sound that I know about. I'm also going to bring in this Sonatina Orchestra thing, because uh, this has a lot of really good sounds as well. And then I think, finally, I'm just going to use some Zinad sub effects. For the Zinad sub effects, I know a lot of people are asking like how you get the Zinad sub effects. If you download all the files uh, that come with LMS and like you download them correctly, you should have the Zinad sub effects. It should be under my presets and then you go all the way to the bottom and here it is and all the sounds should be in there. So yeah, if, if you don't have this for some reason, maybe just check to see if you have all the files downloaded because it's it should come with uh, LMS when you download it. I think I'm going to use that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with the melody. Um, and I'm going to make this full screen. And I'm going to just start... Actually, wait. I don't want this sound. I will take a harp for right now. Okay, so I brought in a harp here. Okay, so, so far I've clicked in this pattern. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to hold down control and then select all these. And then I'm going to hold down on shift, click them, and then drag them over here. So now we have two. And I'm going to make this like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bottom notes and I'm just going to go like this and select these all. And this, what I'm doing is I'm holding down both control and shift at the same time. And now I'm just going to hold down shift, click on them and drag them down to whoops, the note that these bottom ones are. So now we have kind of a little melody going on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add kind of a little top melody over the over the top of these chords. Okay, so basically it took me a little while, but I came up with this melody and I really like it. Sounds good. So, this is only four bars, and I kind of want a little bit more variation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control A, and now it's going to select all. And I'm going to hold down Shift, and then drag this over here. So now I have the same melody over here, and you might be like, oh, there's not very much variation because it's just the same melody. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and change these top notes so that it's different from the other ones. So, yeah.
Okay, so basically I finished the little uh, variation on the melody, so I'm gonna go uh, change this to 50%, uh, so you can actually see it. All I did was change a few notes up here and change one note basically here, and it sounds, you know, a lot different, gives it a lot more spice, a lot more flavor. So yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit shift and then up twice on my keyboard. So now all the bass notes will be playing here instead of where the other notes they were. And now it's gonna sound like this. So yeah, I think personally that sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna X out of this. And now I have this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and then hit copy and paste. So now we have the combination of these two. And now finally what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy again and then paste this here. So now we're gonna have three layers of this uh, sound. So you can have some parts with kind of thicker layers and some parts that have like kind of thinner, you know, more chill sound. So yeah, basically how the like chorus or hook part is gonna sound is like this. So yeah, I think personally that sounds pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create some drums and I'm actually gonna do that in a different uh, baseline editor. So I'm gonna create a new one. And now for the drums, I'm just gonna have a four bar pattern because the melody is kind of more complicated. So I want the drums to be like, you know, more simple. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And now we have four bars of drums. And now first thing we do, take the clap, put it every other two like such and then we're going to take the hi-hat and go like this all right so now we have this pretty simple pattern going on what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the little percussions like here and here and then i'm going to put it like this and then i'm going to take a hi-hat and go like this an open hi-hat I'm gonna turn it way down because those are usually pretty loud. And go like this. Now basically we're gonna have to go back into our other one. Um, go back to zero. And I'm gonna click on this. And I'm going to hold down control. And actually we're only gonna need four bars. So hold down control and then click on four bars and then do control C and now we can exit out of this, go back to this, go to the 808 and now do control V and now I'm going to pitch that up. But now what we have to do is we have to like make them longer. So I'm going to make sure they're not all selected at once. And I think every other video I've done, I've made the kick first, but for this one, I want to do the 808 first. Um, and it's basically the exact same thing, but you just uh, like kind of make the kick pattern with the 808. So what I have here, I can delete because this is basically the same thing. So I'm gonna do control and then select all these and then shift and drag. So and now I'm going to do this and I'm gonna pitch this up. And then I'm gonna do this. And I think this should sound good. So that sounds good. It's kind of clicky. I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, it might just be the sample. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add the kick, which is this is kind of like the opposite way that I would do it in my other videos. But you know, it doesn't really matter. The, the process always changes. It always goes along with what you think is best. To do is I'm going to open up the song editor and I'm gonna put these two together and see how it sounds and it might be a little muddy but that just means you have to do some mixing so this 808 sounds a little bit off 
So last time I think I figured out what the problem was. This here uh, is like where the note is rooted. Where you want it to be is on C. So click that to C. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So that's just like a weird thing that LMMS does. It puts the root at freaking A right here um, when it should be at C. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you... Uh, or doing your 808s you want to tune them correctly so yeah what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing and then pretty much we're done all we have to do is kind of lay out the song okay so pretty much uh, I have it to where the mix sounds decent enough to me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mess around with these a little bit because I feel like the 808 is a little bit high so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch this down again um, I'm gonna go to about here and then I'm gonna see how that sounds so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to copy and then paste and then paste again um, and now we got to see what note this is on so this note is an E right here so that means that when we go into our 808 it should also be on an E. So basically I've been having this problem where every time the 808 sample plays, uh, it has this clicking noise and it's really annoying. And you can kind of hear it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an envelope on the 808. So you just click on this, not like that. Click on it one time and then you go to here, this little spiky thing, and then you turn the envelope should look like this. You turn the amount all the way up, and then you turn the attack up a little bit, and so now it's not gonna have that clicky noise. And you can just mess with it as you need. Um, but yeah, so that's how you get rid of that, in case anyone was wondering. So now, it's not gonna sound as muddy. I'm gonna play this all together so we can hear how it is. So I don't really like how the 808 and the uh, melody is kind of like getting a little muddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to once again pitch this up and I'm just going to do it twice. And so now I'm going to go copy and paste and paste back in here. And I know I did this twice, so I'm going to do it twice here. And now it should sound like this. So yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. Uh, that might have been the way I had it originally, but either way, I think that sounds good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate out all of these, um, and then all of these as well, and then we will be able to lay out the beat. Okay, so basically what I just did was I separated all of these into different thingy mabobbers. Um, so now they each have their own beat and bass on editor, and now we can lay out the beat. Alright homies, this brings us to the end of the video. I have finished uh, laying out the beat pretty much for the most part. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys were able to learn something from this. Um, also, I hope you guys liked uh, me showing off the new program and making a beat in the new program or whatever. I like it. It's I think it, it runs a little smoother. They fixed some of the bugs that they had before, like the uh, plugin thing. Uh, it doesn't show you like a weird uh, window of the plugin. So yeah, I think I'll mess around with it some more. I'll definitely make some more videos. I know you guys are asking about videos uh, on like melodies and stuff. So that will be coming soon. Um, I got I got some more videos planned for the future. So. Stay tuned, you know, like and subscribe and all that stuff, and I will see you guys next time.
I'm official. Play with the signs and we put them on the